482nd Contact, Friday, 22nd November 22nd, 2009. Billy says on the 14th of October, in our most recent private conversation, you mentioned, in regard to the predictions, that you would deliberate about whether such predictions should continue to be made or not. So what is the corresponding conclusion? Patar says we have found that all the predictions that have been made since 1975 up to the current time have in no way borne any fruit with the earth human beings. This has been just as much the case with your predictions and prophetic warnings, which were given no heed, consequently many things from your warnings have, in the meantime, come true, and also continue to come true. Therefore, we have come to agree that predictions do not deserve humanity to become reasonable. Therefore, we no longer want to draw their attention, by means of predictions, to what the future brings them in terms of evil. For three decades we have made the effort to warn the earth humans through you and your mission, as you have already done again and again from your side for almost sixty years, which has in no way led to success. So, now we no longer want to prepare clarifications for predictions and we want to end our activity regarding that which has always taken a great deal of time. Billy says so, no more predictions. That is good and lessens my burdens which have not seldom weighed heavily on me. Patar says I know that. Many things have also weighed very heavily on me. Billy says all that can certainly not simply pass over one without a trace. With the whole matter I simply find the stupid and stubborn behavior of the human beings of the earth extremely regrettable. Under no circumstances do they want to perceive, recognize or understand the actual truth, namely, that all evil, and the climate change with its natural catastrophes, is only their very own fault, which is founded in the rampant overpopulation. Admittedly, worldwide, there is talk about climate change, also at the climate conferences, as will also be the case again in December in Copenhagen. But nothing intelligent ever comes out of it. That will also be the case in Copenhagen where great and senseless words will be spoken and decisions, which are even more senseless, will be made by all those in positions of responsibility who shut their eyes and senses to the truth. Their stupid and silly speeches will be the order of the day, along with the fact that, as a result of this entire Copenhagen senselessness, enormous amounts of CO2 will be created through which the stock of oxygen on Earth will be even more impaired than it already, catastrophically, has been up until now. And, also, naturally, with the whole idiotic and dim-witted Climate Protection Conference palaver, Great masses of crazes from all over the world will organize demonstrations, and the required travel to Copenhagen will blow further enormous amounts of poison gas into the atmosphere, as is the case with the actual conference participants. Just in this regard alone both groups are equally stupid and daft and do not think at all about what they do just with their travel to make the climate catastrophe even worse. But, just as the conference participants will make dim-witted speeches and will decide on completely idiotic and ineffective measures, so are the demands of the demonstrators also dim-witted and idiotic, because they scream just as much for senseless and daft measures which are supposed to be decided by the conference participants and carried out by the countries. The demonstrators are just as stupid and daft as are the conference attendees themselves in that they only scream for senseless measures, however they utter not a word relating to what the reason for the climate catastrophe is and what must be done about it. None of these brain amputated demonstrators who go around bellowing, and, likewise, none of the brainless conference participants, have sufficient intelligence to recognize that the true reason for the stark climate change, and the resulting and incessantly increasing natural catastrophes, is the rampant overpopulation. They are all too stupid and daft to get to the bottom of the actual truth and also to understand it, and to understand that finally something must be done about the overpopulation, because only such measures can be effective. The fact is that, namely, only a very quick, regulated, worldwide control of births can be useful, as a result of which, very many more human beings die a natural death than are born.
but that is something that not only the conference attendees and the respective demonstrators have to finally comprehend, rather it is something that the entire terrestrial humanity must finally understand and convert into action. Neither private desires for children nor the supposed private right concerning descendants can play any role in this at all. As a result of the overpopulation, created by the earth human beings, and the climatic catastrophe which is thereby evoked, the human beings of the earth must, as a result of their responsibility for the planet, its nature, the fauna and flora, as well as for the further existence of terrestrial humanity, rationally forego their supposed right to simply be permitted to beget descendants according to their free will. The mass must be regulated and correspond to the responsibility regarding what is supportable and indeed without if and buts and without selfish affectations. The time, reason and the stark climate change demand that a worldwide and radically effective control of births is carried out very quickly so that the rabbit-like proliferation of humanity ceases and nature can again, in the course of time, normalize and regulate itself. Certainly that is a very, very long process which will be calculated in centuries, but it is actually the only way in which a solution will be approached and the need to be saved from the worst can be prevented. And furthermore to say about that is that everything catastrophic with which the planet Earth, its fauna and flora, the human beings, the atmosphere and, with that, also the climate, is afflicted is criminal and is based on all the things that the human being of the Earth has created. To that also belongs the production of nourishment for all the human beings, through which monstrous quantities of poisons of all kinds enter the soil and the atmosphere, pollute everything and powerfully advance climate change. When one considers just the many millions of animals and all the other creatures that are bred as nourishment and, through whose breathing and colony gases, monstrous amounts of poison gas enter the air, then one can see that that is already a catastrophe. If then, in regard to this, however, one considers how much fodder this livestock needs, and how this could nourish innumerable human beings, because it is fodder that the human beings could also use as nourishment, then naked horror arises in the rationally thinking human being. And if, regarding this, one further considers that of the 7,600, 3 zeros, three zeros human beings who exist on the earth today, one comma three four six, three zeros, three zeros human beings are starving and innumerable die of hunger, then it must be asked, how long will it actually continue until the majority of human beings of the earth finally are pregnant with intelligence and reason and begin to think and to act? There is unfortunately only a small handful of human beings of the earth who are capable of using intelligence and reason and, furthermore, they are not mighty ones of the state, academics or others with big names consequently, the simple humans, without great office and title, are not listened to when they have something significant and important to say. That has already been the case since time immemorial. Patar says you have already taught all of that since your childhood, but, unfortunately, they are only a few earth human beings who pay attention to your words, your warnings and your teaching. Billy says unfortunately that is true, at least in regard to the majority of all human beings, because it is indeed done here and there, however only sparsely, if one considers the great mass of humanity. And it is also these isolated human beings who are very grateful that I raise my words and teach the truth even if that does not please many adversaries, know it tales, stirrers and critics. Patar says that will unfortunately also not change greatly in the present time. Consequently it will continue to only be isolated earth humans who will turn to what you teach. Billy says I know that. It takes time for everything especially the truth, to penetrate and stimulate the human being's intelligence and reason. The End